Hi, this is Lauren from LSB Actions, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a couple of tips of how to extend and fill in the background using the LSB Cake Smash Kitty Photoshop Action Set. This image is by Nikki Burn Photography. Now, with the Cake Smash in any sessions, it's kind of important that all your um, your props are on the background. But I know sometimes we can be limited by a small backdrop, and we need to fill in the space there. Uh, luckily these props are all on the background, the subject is in. If you've got the subjects coming off the background, it's a little bit of a harder fix. But because we have a clear edge here, things are going to be a little bit easier. For all the editing tutorials, including how to get started with these actions, please do watch video edits 1 and 2, um, available on the LSB Actions website. I'm going to dive straight into the advanced section here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is play this action, create a duplicate fixing layer. And this creates a merged copy of your background to work on, so you're not working on your original background. I'm going to grab the patch tool here, which is over on the spot healing brush, and draw a selection um, coming down this way onto this area we want to fix. You can hold down Alt to remove anything from the selection. I'm just going to remove this little bit here because I don't want it picking up any of those balloons. And the first thing I'm going to try is the LSP Select and Fix Background and Distractions action. And you can see that's done a pretty good job with quite a complicated area there. Now let's use it again on this bit. The good thing about this action is you can use it over and over in little pieces. So let's see how it does here. Great. So there we have before and after using Select and Fix to fill in the background. You can also use it on any other areas, any distractions like this, um, any little bits and bobs. Or you can use the seamless background crease fix or the smooth backdrop paper actions there. Because you're already on patch tool, you can simply patch these over to a calm area. Do um, bear in mind your depth of field though, you may not want to um, patch a sharp area to a blurry area, and um, you know, the same goes the other way too. I'm going to play the seamless background crease fix, because as well as quicksing, fixing, quicksing fixes, I am tripping over my words today, fixing creases, this also allows you to paint on a smooth background. So use the Alt key to sample an area you wish to paint. Let's make the brush nice and big. The brush is normal, 100% opacity, 25% flow, and I'm just going to paint that down here. And rather than just painting on a new layer, what this does, it allows you to keep the integrity and the textures of your background. If you're fixing a background using um, Liquify, for example, or Transform, you're actually stretching the pixels out there, and that's not a good thing to do, because that takes the quality down. So I'm on the mask now. On the black brush, I'm just going to take this off the balloon and the decor a little bit. Really lightly though. Depending on your image, you know, you may find that um, manually you need to do a little bit like this. It all depends on your image. So let's see the before and after fixing that background in three minutes. One little extra thing I'm going to do. See the uh, reflection here in the balloon? is um, reflecting the props and everything that's behind him over this way. If you wanted to get rid of that, um, rather than patching, cloning, trying to remove it, what I'd recommend just doing, Nikki, is coming down here on the adjustments, create a manual hue and saturation layer, choose reds from the drop down, put saturation down, the whiteness up, that's just for this image, um, your own image might need something different if you've got something similar. Select a white brush, and let's just paint that onto the reds. And that's just going to take the eye away from focusing on those reds. So it really doesn't matter that we've got that reflection. Um, it really doesn't matter. Let's just take these reds away. And that, I believe, is enough to just not draw the eye there. Let's take a bit of that red out of that balloon too. So there we have before and after. And that's um, extending an area of the background using the LSP Cake Smash Cutie Photoshop Action Set available at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.